I'm Ted Keyes in Pasadena, California. Welcome to my Tuesday conference call, a free high-powered meeting I hold live every Tuesday for top producing freight agents. Go to tedkeysonline.com for complete call information. Then join us weekly to see new, serious, struggling, and experienced sales professionals move more freight efficiently, effectively, effortlessly, and make more money financially. So watch my recorded call topic highlighted there on your screen right now. When you're finished, go to tedkeysonline.com and hear more podcasts, read more blog posts, watch more videos, and while you're there, visit my freight sales success store for top-notch freight moving products to explode your business today. Enjoy watching and applying my Tuesday conference call. Hello again and welcome everybody to my Tuesday conference call where every Tuesday I show you how to move more freight, move it more successfully, more proficiently, and provide your customers, your prospects with the best prices and best service out there. And that ties in with my topic today. My topic is how to provide the best freight prices and service. Before I go into that, Provided you got my email, I'm going to direct you down to all of my attachments today. There's going to be a number of them that I go over today, but the first one that I'm going to direct you to, as I typically do every Tuesday, is our leaderboard. And let me say again, when you join our office as a productive freight agent, allow that to be your goal to get on our agent leaderboard. One of the great things about it is it shows you how you're making progress in your freight sales profession. Make that a goal every, every month to land your name on our leaderboard, really in any category you want, but uh, make it a goal to get in as many categories as possible. You'll see that there's three main ones there. Let's go ahead and uh, get on to our topic today. The topic, again, is how to provide the best freight prices and service. I'm going to direct you to the second attachment there. If, go ahead and open that up there. That attachment reads, brokering freight is not for sissies. Brokering freight is not for sissies. If you have this feeling or this aura that, hey, I'm going to become a freight agent and I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to you know, have a uh, jolly good time talking to people and moving a whole bunch of loads it does not happen that way. Or, you know, if I'm going to do this uh, in a way where I don't want to step up to the plate and do anything, well, I'm going to tell you right now, brokering freight is not for sissies. You have to stand up and you have to step up to the plate and you have to keep swinging, you have to keep making mistakes until you get your, not, not just a home run, but just get on base. Mark Cuban has a line, you can make as many mistakes as you want. All that matters is when you get one win or get one right, that's what matters. Now, I take you through the, I'm going to take you through a process here of providing the best freight prices and service. And again, this, all you have to do is take this as a freight sales agent and apply it, and you're going to alleviate a lot of uh, mistakes along the way just by taking this and applying this. But you've got to step up to the plate and swing at the hits and misses that come your way, first of all. So brokering freight is not for sissies. You've got to be strong, persistent, and determined to be successful in this profession. Let's move on to the next document, the next attachment that I have down there, and that reads that 85% of your financial success is due to your personality and ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. Shockingly, only 15% is due to technical knowledge. Again, 85% of your financial success is due to your personality and ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. Shockingly, only 15% is due to technical knowledge. Now, this goes against 
how the world would tell you this. The world will tell you to go to school, go to college, get a degree, and then you'll be successful. Well, actually, only 15% of your success will be due to your technical knowledge. Unfortunately, schools, universities, colleges, the thing they lack is in teaching you how to enhance your personality, which will then enhance uh, your ability to communicate, negotiate, and lead. So really, it's your ability to communicate, negotiate, lead, build contacts, build relationships with your prospects and customers that matters the most in this profession. So when you're focusing, when you're building your freight business, focus on building or focus on increasing your skill to enhance your personality, to communicate, negotiate, lead, and build relationships with your contact list. That is the most important thing that, or one of the most important things you can do starting off in this profession. Let's go ahead and X out of there and open up that next document. This document is called the sales call information sheet. This is one of the best documents that you will use as a freight sales partner with our team here. It's called the freight sales information sheet. Every time you make contact with a prospect, take one of these out and again, print them, print them over and over again because you'll use them over and over again. But this is a device to collect information on your prospect as you make your calls. Every time you make a call to a new prospect, you are going to take this out and you are going to, as you, as you build a relationship, that first call, you're going to write down all the information and the spaces provided here. As you can see toward the middle of this document are the most important questions to ask a prospect whom you're connecting with the first time. Questions like, I see that you manufacture warehouse, ship, or sell blank. Now, I highly advise that you find out what this prospect is doing before you call them, but when you, bring, when you ask them this question, when you tell them what they manufacture, warehouse, ship, or sell, they're going to be more impressed and more uh, obligated to stay on the phone with you. Another important question to ask, do you request... Do you or your customers oversee the freight? You want to make sure you're talk, talking to the, to the shipping decision makers. Do you have a list of carriers that you're currently working with? Do you ever have to look for additional trucks on your own? One of the most important questions that you will ask every prospect. Another one is, may I email you some information? Yes. What's your email address when they give that to you? you better be able or you better be ready to write that information down because that's one of the most important questions that you can ask a prospect is, okay, may I email you some information? What's your email address? So sales call information sheet, this is where the process starts by utilizing this document. Now let's go ahead and move on from there and open up that next attachment, basically, for any of you that have not figured this out yet. Here is a sample of a sales call information sheet that's been completed, in case you can't vision or envision this being completed. It's just, I, I've filled this out for you. I've put all the important information in there. And again, I actually called this customer orchids paper, and I wrote this, I, I wrote all this information in as, uh, uh, Matt McAdams uh, as I held him on the phone and I got him to answer all the questions that I asked here. So here's a fully completed sales call information sheet. Not only that, but as, as you look at the bottom, I also got him or convinced him to tell me his two main loads that they move at this time, which was a while ago. Their main loads were picking up in prior Oklahoma, going to Philadelphia, and also prior Oklahoma going to Dallas, Texas. Again, just a sample of what a completed sales call information sheet looks like. From there, what I will do, moving on, what you will do, moving on, Xing out of this document, and moving on to the next document, that is where you actually take that information 
and you enter that information into a contact list. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. One of your major goals in this profession, bear with me, as you're collecting information on prospects, every time you get information on a prospect, you are going to take it and enter it into a Gmail contact list that you form. You can form these lists however you want. I've got upwards of 10 different lists of prospects that I have. But to start off, just start off with one list. But moving on to this document here, it's called the Gmail Contact Information Sample. As you see on the bottom, reading it, it says, look, important, after obtaining contact info on your prospect or from your prospect, enter it into your Gmail contact list. Why do we do that? We do that because one of the best forms of communicating today, after you've gotten information from a prospect, is to follow up with your list, follow up with your prospects. One of the major ways of doing that is through email. Typically, when your prospect has some loads to move, they are going to send that load information to you via email. So what does that mean? You want to have their email. You want to have them in one of your contact lists. So in review, after you've collected information on your prospect, take that information and enter it into your one of your Gmail contact lists where it's readily available because you are going to access that minimum once a week. Let's X out of there and move on to our next document. And that, we're going to uh, move on to the document called the Introductory Email Template. Introductory Email Template. What is this? This is the first email that your prospect will receive from you. Again, you just got off the phone with them. You, you called them. And again, send this out right after you speak to them. But you're gonna, I'm going to refer you to the introductory email template. <laughs> Reading on the third line there, this is the first email your prospect will receive from you after contacting them. Here's what usually happens. You speak to a prospect for the first time. You have a great conversation with them. They like you. They like what you have to say. The, the line that you'll typically hear from them is, hey, that sounds great, or something along those lines. But the main line is that you'll hear from them is, send me your contact info. Send me your contact info. When they say send me your contact info, this is the email template that you will email to them. Let's go over it real quickly. As you can see, subject heading. Subject heading. Every time, every time you're going to address them, this is what you're going to put in their email after you upload them onto your contact list and hit their email address. In the subject heading, you're going to put their name, whatever it is their name. Change this every time, whether it be John Bill, uh, Sue, or, or, uh, or Francine. You'll put their name in. Then you'll put, are you getting the best freight prices and service? As you see off to the right there, change the four X's to your prospect's first name every time you send this out. The body of the email will read, again, address them by their first name, the first line of X's. You're going to change those uh, four X's to your prospect's first name, again, every time you send this out. It's going to read, good morning, you just expressed interest with logistic dynamics to transport your freight for X. Well, if you, if you look off to the right there, change the four X's to your prospect's company name every time. Again, every time you send this out, you are going to change these variables every time you do that. So that first line of X's, change them to your prospect's company name every time. Reading on, here's a short and simple question. Do you keep your options open to receiving the best freight prices and service to ship your X's again. Well, what is that? Look over to the right. You're going to change those four X's to your prospects' products every time. Every time, change those four main ingredients, those being their name in the subject heading, 
going down to the body of the email, you'll address it to your prospect's name. The third is you're going to change the line of X's to the prospect's company name. The fourth is your prospect's products every time. Why do you do this? You do this because you're going to send them words that they can relate to. It's also going to show your prospect that you paid attention to what they had to say and that you're truly interested in what they have to ship. It, it allows your prospect to create a stronger relationship with you every time you send this out here. Now, are you going to get immediate success on this, uh, this first email? Your probability is no, but here's what you're going to do. Every time, well, initially, you are going to copy this from the body of the email, from their name, down to how else may we assist you today. Copy that and paste it somewhere. Copy it and paste it somewhere. I keep mine in an email draft, but copy it and paste it where it is readily available for you to access on a timely basis, on a daily basis, because you will use this over and over again. This is part of providing your prospects with the best freight prices and service. So in reality, you are going to send this out every time you uh, speak to a prospect for the first time. Unfortunately, or let's, let me just say this, let's move on. Let's move on. Unfortunately, this will be to an attachment that I have not sent here, but we will go over it. I do go over this every time I train with you. The one attachment that you will attach to this email here is the Logistic Dynamics brochure. The only attachment that you will attach to this email again one more time is the Logistic Dynamics brochure. You will be provided with that. Uh, after I do a training session with you. But in case your prospect wants to really know what you do, what you provide, all they have to do is go to that LDI brochure, which you will attach to this, and they'll check it out. Let's move on to the next attachment. It's called the intra... Uh, no, I take it back. Next attachment is, is labeled, Can I Get a Rate?, can I get a rate? This is all for those individuals that are in the process of coming up with their first 20 prospects with me. Because undoubtedly, undoubtedly, one of the first tasks, first major tasks that you have with me is to provide me with your first 20 customer prospects. Undoubtedly, and in fact, if you're doing this better than normal, you will get a request from some of your prospects and they will ask you for a freight rate in the process of accumulating your, your list of your first 20 customer prospects. So here's what happens when you get this request. Can I get a rate? Let me just read this document a little bit. During the process of connecting and acquiring your first 20 prospects, you'll be asked this question occasionally during your first week with me. This is a sign that you're already making progress as a successful freight agent and you're already on your way to achieving your first initial task of accumulating your first task of your getting 20 prospects. Now, here's what you have to remember when this happens during this time, that during this one week, this initial one week period. Here's what you have to remember. Your only goal, your only goal during this time is to acquire your first 20 prospects. That's your only goal. Second, you have no access to the LDI freight system. That comes later. Third, you have no other resources for quoting freight rates. The fourth, here's a good thing, and this is a, it's like a checklist. You have the ability to connect with the marketplace. What, what determines that? It's that somebody is asking you for a freight rate. So that's telling you that you have the ability to connect with the marketplace. The next one is, the sooner you finish this task before the one-week time frame, the sooner you have access to the LDI freight system, the sooner you'll quote freight rates to your prospects. So what's the final, uh, the final line here? 
complete your first 20 customer prospects ASAP. You will not quote any customers or any prospects a rate until you get me your first 20 prospects. So the sooner you get me those prospects, the sooner you're quoting freight rates. It's that simple. Now, what do you do when this happens, with, when one of your prospects actually asks you this? What to say to your prospects when they ask you for a freight rate before you have access to LDI freight? Here's what you say, or here's what you email. Send me the load info. Send me the load info. That's all you're going to say. What do you do from there? Well, you're going to then set it aside and rush to get your LDI freight system by providing me with your first 20 customer prospects, ASAP. All right, let's X out of there and roll right along here to that next attachment. That next attachment is titled Weekly Follow-Up Email Template. For those of you that are with me as a team, a team member here, every Monday morning I send you an email for you to send out to your contact list, to send out to your prospects, to send out to your customers. Basically, it's the, it's the weekly follow-up email template or a weekly follow-up email that I send you. It's real simple. It's something that keeps you in contact with your uh, contact list or your prospects and customers weekly. Let's go over this real quickly. Subject heading, again, four X's. Name, what early January freight is moving this week? Again, the note is change those four X's to your prospect's first name every time. Now, when I send this to you, it's going to have your name in there. Okay, I do that for a reason, so you can see what it looks like. But when you when you take this and send it out to your contact list, put their name in the subject heading. And also, when I send this to you, just duplicate it. Just copy what I've put there, uh, especially in the subject heading. Now. In the body of the email, it reads real simple, real simple again, 4Xs, change the 4Xs to your prospect's first name every time when I send it to you. Your name will be in there. Here's a general way of how this template will read when I send it to you every Monday. Good morning. What early January freight is moving this week? Reading on, send us your loads info, and we'll get you the rates in trucks. Thank you for your business and referrals. I do this with four simple lines. I do this because I've seen what other freight agents have sent to their customers. They, they won't even address them by name. This is nice and professional. And when you send this out, make it look or have it appear in this format. But it's real simple. It's four lines. It, it gives you an ease of going in there, uh, of greeting them nicely with their name. Now, I'm not saying that this is the best mousetrap out there. And what I will say is if you have a way of changing this around where you feel it will be more effective for you, go ahead and do it. You do not have to copy what I send you. If you've got a better mousetrap, by all means do it because you know your contacts, you know your prospects and customers better than I do. But this is a weekly follow-up email that I will send to you every Monday morning. Just take it, turn it around, and send it out to your contact list. It's a way to keep in contact with them. Moving on. As you make contact as you make more and more contact, sometimes, not sometimes, but eventually, eventually, your prospects will require your service. I, I've said this over and over again, your prospects will require your service. Well, let's go ahead and open up that next attachment, how to calculate profit margin. Now, there's a whole another uh, attachment or a whole other topic that I'm leaving out of here. It's called Guidelines for quoting freight rates that you'll see later or hear about later. But this is after you've done that, you've posted the load, you've got an idea of what your rate is for a particular lane. Obviously, you have to calculate your profit margin and then send a rate to your prospect or customer. Well, here's how you calculate profit margin. 
This is typically for a customer, a prospect that you've been dealing with a while. You've moved some loads for them already. They know uh, your your they know who you are. Initially, unfortunately, those first loads that go out, we've got to compete with the marketplace. But let's let's look at calculating profit margin. It's real simple. Reading on your main goal on every load covered is generating a minimum 15% profit margin. That's your main goal. Here's how you calculate that 15% profit margin. You got your LDI price, and that is the price we charge to our customer. The LDI price is the price we charge to our customer. You have the carrier price, and that's the price that the trucking company that you've negotiated, that's what they are going to charge to us. Well, your profit is the LDI price minus the carrier price. That's what profit is, LDI price minus carrier price. So let's look at an example here. We got a LDI price of $2,000. We have a carrier price of $1,700. Well, what is the profit? The profit on that is $300. So if we're going to calculate profit margin, here's what we do. We take our profit and we divide it by the, ch the price that we are charging our customer. So it's profit divided by LDI price or, in this case, $300 divided by $2,000 that comes up with our profit margin of 0.15 or 15%. Now, that's an example. It's a real simple example. It's a spot on. It comes up with 15%. If you want to, you know, do this over and over again or, or put your own numbers in there, by all means do it. It will only enhance your ability to calculate profit margin. Here are two main things to remember when we calculate profit margin down on the bottom. Remember, your profit margin goal is to average 15 plus percent every two weeks. Why do I say that? Because that's when I send out your commissions to you. So your profit margin goal is to average 15 plus percent every two weeks. Of course, if you don't do that on a certain, goal, uh, a certain load, here's your goal. However, always cover loads for a minimum of $100. Do not cover loads for $75. Do not cover loads for $50. Your goal, if you don't hit that 15%, is to cover that load for a minimum of $100, plain and simple. So basically, real quick, uh, real quick introduction and uh, follow through on how to calculate profit margin. Let's go ahead and X out of there. Let's move on to our next document, and that is the sample rate request response. Now, let me give you a simple, a quick scenario. Your prospect, your customer has asked you for a freight rate. You followed my guidelines for quoting freight rates by taking that request. You have posted on LDI freight. You've come up with a, with a carrier rate. You've factored in your profit margin, and you've actually come up with a rate to send to your prospect or customer. Well, here's how you send it to them, utilizing the sample rate request response. Here's how you send it out to them. Let me read on here. This is a sample email for you to respond to all your contacts rate requests. Reading on, always, always, always respond to all your contacts rate requests. Why do I say that? Because first of all, that's the professional thing to do. That's why we're in this profession, to respond and build relationships with our contacts. If you don't send them a rate, you're not building a relationship with them. It's that simple. The more rates you send them, the, the, the stronger the real relationship that you're building with them. I have several customers now. They, they have a process. But I know that every time they send me a rate request, I'm dealing or I'm competing with four or five four or five other brokers, uh, I just know that when I, uh, when I send them a, uh, a request, they're going to give me the load. Even though the, I'm not giving them uh, the, uh, the lowest price, 
one of the reasons why they give me their loads is because I get back to them immediately with my rates. Your goal is to do the same. However, let's take a look at the sample rate request response more in detail. Again, look at the subject heading. Subject heading XXXX, I have your rate. Change the four X's to your prospect's first name every time you send this out. Body of your email, again, you're going to address it to them by name. Change those X's to your prospect's first name every time, as you see it say off to the right there. Good morning or good afternoon, either one, whatever it is, good morning or good afternoon. You will always list the pickup and delivery locations with your price. Again, that price is what I came up with after I calculated the margin that I want to go into this particular rate request. So always list the pickup and delivery locations with price, and then the last line, will this work? Will this work? If, you, if there's one thing you have to do on here is put that in there every time you send a rate to your contact. Always finish with this question, why? to generate their reply. Yeah. For me, if you've seen my emails that I send out to you, I typically finish with a question, why? So you reply back to me with another question. It's a way to continue building a strong relationship. So one more time, just three, three lines. Good morning. Where's it picking up? Where's it going to? The rate, third line, will this work? By following the system that I've laid out for you, one more time, by following the system that I've laid out for you, again, we have to add a few more things in here, but this is the general layout here. By following the system, you will provide the best freight prices and service to your contacts, to your prospects, to your customers, guaranteed. Why do I say guaranteed? because it works for me. If it works for me, I'm going to share it with you because my goal, as well as yours, is to see you as a freight agent become and be successful in this profession. Let's move on to the last attachment that I have uh, uh, provided for you. The last attachment in this email is, remember, when you're calling your prospects and customers, one more time, remember when you're calling your, prospect, your prospects and customers that freight agent superstars consistently do what average freight agents don't or won't. One more time, remember when you're calling your prospects and customers. Drill this into your mind as you're getting on the phone. Freight agent superstars consistently do what average or sub-average freight agents don't or won't. And here's the thing. There are a minute percent of freight agent superstars compared to the average or sub-average freight agents out there. My question is, what is your goal? Where do you plan on fitting into these categories? Will you be a freight agent superstar? If that is your goal, then follow the system that I just laid out for you. One more time, follow the system that I just laid out for you. If you don't follow the system, if you wing it, you do it on your own, you get off track, here's what's going to happen. You'll become average, sub-average, or you will not make it anywhere, or just you, you just plain won't make it in this profession, reiterating that first uh, that first attachment that I went over one more time, brokering freight is not for sissies. It's for those that take guidance, that take my tools, that take my training, and apply them to a T. Great topic today. Follow this program that I just went over with you. Follow it to a T. By doing that, you will see success on the horizon a lot sooner than if you didn't follow it. Okay, questions involving what we just went over, questions involving becoming a top-notch freight agent. That is a question for me. Give me a call, 626-309-9141. Questions involving our LDI freight system. 
posting a load, covering loads, getting a load into the, into the system. That is a question for Maria, my beautiful wife, or Marilyn, our assistant. Same, uh, same number, 626-309-9141. Take this information, folks, even if you're not with me, take it in for, take it, apply it. You'll see how well it works. You'll see that this is what's required in by becoming a freight agent superstar. God bless you. God bless your efforts. Been a pleasure talking to you today. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Take care. You've just taken a tremendous step forward by watching and applying my Tuesday conference call highlight. Do you desire to earn and learn with our top freight team and Christian-based office? Yes? We're searching for a self-starter who's serious, motivated, and ready to take action right now. Is that you? Go to tedkeysonline.com slash contacts and enter your contact details. We provide top-notch freight agent sales training to you. Then you deliver those same skills with confidence to the freight industry marketplace. I'll talk to you soon.